So what we have here is the Nextdoc 360 lap dock, touchscreen, trackpad, keyboard, ports, and a USB 3.1, that's type C, into the bottom of the Microsoft Surface Duo. Here opened up in landscape mode, and as you'll see, you basically get a copy of the Duo's interface, but running full screen on the big screen, and as I shall demonstrate with everything you need in terms of the trackpad, keyboard and touchscreen. So I'll put the phone just out of the way. It's going to mirror everything we're doing. You kind of have to put that to one side, but the lap dock, the next dock does charge the Duo, so you're kind of topping up your phone's power as you go. Let's start off with um, the Edge browser, I guess, which uh, on one of the virtual screens here, but the touchscreen works and you can span it in exactly the same way as you would, <laughs> let's try that again, span it exactly as you would on the on the phone itself. And of course, as you would on a laptop, a traditional desktop screen, you've got the full desktop interface here showing the wonderful allaboutmobile.com. And you can browse around, you can multi-touch, touch, display, zoom in and out, that sort of thing. Uh, click through to links using the trackpad, the buttons and so forth. You can scroll up and down with two fingers on the trackpad. It's a very functional desktop class web browser, I would say. Uh, moving away though, let's just go swipe up to go home as if you would on the real phone. Again, noting that this is really, it's not continuum, it's not a desktop complete interface driven by the Duo 2. This is the Duo 2 echoed but with extra accessories, enhancements and interfaces, things, ways in which you can use desktop class accessories. A very good keyboard, a pretty good trackpad and an excellent touchscreen, um, all with the same, exact same information the interface as it is literally on the Duo 2 in this case. Let's go to Microsoft Outlook, the, uh, probably the best way to get email on the Duo 2. And I've set Outlook to span both screens automatically on the Duo 2, so it comes up here again, spanned, so you can, as you click through different uh, emails, you get the preview on the right and so forth, the usual experience. So email's pretty good. And the other thing, of course, you can do on the real Duo 2 is do two things at once. Again, this is just the Duo 2's screen really echoed on this, this wonderful lap dock. So for example, let's uh, run up Twitter here on the right hand side. And again, let's, I don't know, maybe MeWe, the uh, social media site on the left. And the, the two can be scrolling just as they would on the real phone, but it's, it's equally as usable. And of course you can interact using the wonderful keyboard, by the way, which I shall put on the backlight because I realise it's got quite dim in here. The keyboard is now backlit. So we'll go into the comments on this particular story and add in this is a comment. Um, some applications on Android, they do kind of pop up a software keyboard and you have to minimize it again. But on the whole, you can just type in wherever you would using a desktop class notebook. This is a comment and I could send that off if I wanted. Something else you probably do on a laptop or a desktop with a larger screen, larger trackpad, larger touchscreen, etc., is to go through and curate your photographs. So again, whether it's with the trackpad or the touchscreen, go through. And again, it's full touch screen um, on the next dock here, so you can you know, multi-touch, zoom in and out, you can play around, you can delete stuff that needs deleting, and so forth. And the fourth, and this works really well, again, on this lap dock environment. Um, Microsoft Office, of course, if you're going to use a laptop or lap dock, the idea is you're probably going to want, be wanting to do lots of uh, typing and Office work. So let's go into the Microsoft folder here and boot up Office, comes up full, um, right hand screen, right half, but we'll span that. And of course we can, uh, let's bring up an old Office document from, this is sort of 2010 era, a review of the HTC 7 Mozart. Um, <laughs> if I put in a new paragraph, you'll see that the software keyboard does kind of pop up, but you can, you can get rid of that and just start typing this. Go away, <laughs> is a new paragraph and so forth. So you're working in, in a single single half of a screen office editing environment. I don't think you can span that to be a full screen word processor. No, you can't. I think that's a limitation of the, the Microsoft Office application, but it's still pretty handy to be able to do typing on the full keyboard and touch screen and so forth and apply formatting. And mapping is another good example of where you might need more screen real estate. Of course, let's go into Google Maps. Uh, here browsing around. Let's bring in the satellite view because it always looks more impressive. <laughs> Photo demo purposes is the uh, west of Reading. And again, you can span it with the touchscreen or indeed with the trackpad if you feel particularly dexterous. 
and then you've got the full multi-touch um, layers, navigation, points of interest, and it's all done on the, the a, a hinge gapless, of course, because it's a real screen, um, laptop full-size screen. It's all rather pleasant. I can zoom around, I can splay around, I can track around, and it all works very well. YouTube is another way I waste a lot of time, of course. Another thing you might use a larger screen for. Again, Duo 2 plugged in here. Let's go to the YouTube application, which is set to span automatically. Uh, we're watching a, a music video here. Very much a desktop-like interface, and you can make it full screen. I'll use the trackpad just to show the trackpad is working. Come on, come back. There we are. So then you're just watching YouTube on a full screen. It's not very interesting, but it's a good way of using a, a full screen experience to see more than you would on the Duo 2s, even span screens. We'll make, minimize that and show you can scroll around doing all of this with the trackpad here, yeah, just browsing through some of the comments as well. Kind of handy that you can see the comments while the main video is playing down the side, which is slightly more friendly than when doing all of this on the phone screens. So yes, this is the Surface Duo 2, basically echoed through an, an accessory set with the various USB ports and the hub features, micro SD, the larger screen, trackpad, full-size keyboard, backlit, it just works really well. It's, it isn't continuum because it is basically just a larger version of the phone, but do you know, it does 90% of what you'd want continuum or decks to do. Uh, and I'm quite, quite impressed really that most of it works. Incidentally, you could plug in any other Android um, for compatible phone and you would get a similar thing, but of course the Android home screen on most monoblock smartphones doesn't support landscape modes. So you're constantly battling backwards and forwards to a portrait home screen, then launching something T turning the phone on its side and then you kind of get this sort of interface but it's nowhere as near as nice as on the Duo 2 which is optimised with the Microsoft launcher and Microsoft's code for landscape mode making sure the uh, form factor fit almost exactly with something like the Next Doc 2, the Next Doc Touch and here the Next Doc 360. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that.